guys, I'm Rebecca Louise, and today on X Hit, we have got nine moves that are guaranteed to get you that flat stomach. So if you're ready to work out, I've got two very special pals as well with me. So let's get going. Well, I've got my two trusted friend trainers with me today. We've got Harvey over here. He's um, he's going to be watching me today, just critiquing. Alfie is just having a little bit of a snooze. Um, so we're going to get going. So they're just going to help us out as well today. So we're going to start, come down to the ground. We're going to bring our legs up to the ceiling, arms out. Legs are going to drop down and then bring those knees into the chest and up. So you're going to really feel this in those lower abs. Whew, you're going to be feeling good today. This is an awesome ab workout. We really are going to be on our way to getting that flat stomach that we all want. Whew. Your arms out to the side, just going to help give you a little bit of support. Don't grip down, just have them gently there. Hi, Harvey. What's mummy doing? Interesting, isn't it? Okay, are you ready? We're going to go on to the next exercise in three, two, one. Stay up here, the legs are just going to come down to each side. Just gently drop it down. We don't want to touch the ground. But just come as near as the ground as you can. Whew. How are those abs feeling, everyone? We're going to be on our way to getting that six-pack. Harvey, how is your six-pack feeling today? He's had breakfast. They both have breakfast. Alfie is always trying to steal Harvey's food. Oh, how are you doing, Harvey? OK, let's give me five more seconds of these. Keep it going. Leg dropping down and coming up again into that starfish so legs apart arms apart and touching the opposite foot to the opposite hand and breathing now we always make sure that when we are doing exercising we are inhaling and exhaling because often we find that if we're not when we stand up we get a bit dizzy and that's why Whew. oh my goodness that was a close come on keep it going just a few more Five, four, three, two, one. Let's flip over onto our stomachs. Harvey has had enough of this already. He's been, do he's been doing his ab workout already this morning. So let's bring it into mountain climbers. Nice and controlled. Bring that knee into the chest. Keep that tummy pulled in. Okay, you should be starting to feel your abs working now. I can definitely feel mine. That's it guys, come on, keep it going, we can do it. We're gonna work through this together. No one is quitting on me. We're gonna go all the way through the end of the workout. It's not that long, but you do this every day. You really are gonna improve those abs, see a flatter stomach. Woo, I can feel it's getting sweaty in here. Give me one more, and release. Now I want you to flip over again. We're gonna do those famous Russian twists. So you can either do it with your legs or your feet on the ground, or bring them up in the air. It's going to make it harder. Well, what I want you to do right now is I want you to look at your hands. Make sure that your eyes are following your hands. Try and get the hands to come really right to the side of you. So you're really going to be working those obliques. That's these side muscles here. And breathe. Come on, inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Come on, keep it going. Last one. Turning onto your stomach again. We're going to get into a push-up position and we're going to bring one leg in here and hold it for 15 seconds. Pull that tummy in. Don't put your bottom in the air. Keep the spine nice and neutral. Whew. God, it's getting it's hot in here. It's definitely hotter in here than it is in the studio. Whew. And the next one. Let's go. Hold it here for 15 seconds. And breathe. Don't think about the pain. Just keep it going. Just inhale and exhale. Come on, keep that tummy pulled in. You got it, guys. You can do it. All the way to the end. Just a few more exercises. I'm going to make you spin back around on yourself. I know it's up and down, up and down, but that's good. Burning extra calories. We're going to put our legs up into the air. One of my favorites, we're just going to do single leg drops. So we're going to be working those lower abs. Anything when you're back is flat on the floor and your legs are out extended and they're going down towards the ground like flutter clicks, scissor clicks, scissor clicks, scissor kicks or these leg drops you're going to be working those lower abs and for a lot of people it's the hardest thing to work for well, most people in fact it's always hard to get those really bottom down tummy abs okay come on we've got a few more to go and give me one more we're going to stay up here 
We're going to do circles. We're going to go to the left. No, we're going to go to the right first for 30 seconds. And then to the left. I'm seriously dyslexic when it comes to my left and right. I normally go do this, but I thought it was a bit embarrassing to not do that today. When actually I probably should have done because I made more of them fall out of myself by saying the wrong way. Whew, it's like when I'm driving in a car and the person goes, right, turn left. And now I turn this way. And they go, no, other left. Happens all the time. Whew, okay, come on, keep it going. We're going to go to the left. Now we are. Now we're going to the left. Let's just double check. Yeah, that's fine. Do you know where you do this? You hold your hands up. This looks like a left. An L, so that helps me out. I used to have to do it when I was at ballet all the time. You have to stand the left or the right of the bar. I always used to like to see you do like this. Whew, and it works. Keep it going. Come on, feel the burn. I can really feel my abs working now. So I'm just keep talking to you, distract you from the burn that you're feeling. Come on, keep it going. You've only got five seconds left to go. Whew. Three, two, one. And breathe. We're going to stick with working our lower abs because they are the hardest thing to work. So we're just going to be doing flutter kicks. Now, you can bring your legs up here. You want to try and keep your back as flat on the floor as you can. Yes, you do, Harvey. Or if you've just got a little, you just like little, little legs. That's a nice little break for me. We've got a whole minute of these, okay? So make sure your back is flat on the ground. If you can, take it lower. That's brilliant, but then you really are going to feel that burn. We don't want to arch our back. So keep it going. Come on. This is pain, but it feels good. The burn feels good. I can feel the burn, Rebecca. Yes, I can. Loads of you have been saying that you can feel it and it's working for you. Let's get everybody involved. Let's get more of you into this. Feeling the burn, working out your abs, working out your legs. You just feel so good after you've exercised. I've lost my other fellow trainer, but Alfie is still here. He's still with me, still rooting us on. Come on, Alfie, we can do it, can't we, buddy? Yes. That's his expressional face. He doesn't have much of an expression. Okay, you're almost there. I promise you've got five seconds left. Come on, keep it going. Oh, I can feel those abs working and release. Whoo, big breath and big breath out. Oh my goodness. It's definitely got hot in here and that was an awesome workout. Really felt that one. There you have it. So there's the nine moves that really are gonna get that flat stomach, gonna get you into shape. It's coming up to summer, so everyone wants to get ready for those bikinis or you know, in your trunks or your shorts. Or maybe you want to work out something else today. We've got legs, we've got arms, we've got cardio. That's it, it's got everything. The best channel on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe. My name's Rebecca Louise. Any questions, you can tweet me on Twitter at The Model Pilot or Facebook, Rebecca Louise Fitness. Hey everyone, my name's Rebecca Louise. Today on X Hit, we are going to be working to get those Miley Cyrus legs. Okay, so really toning up. We're going to be working the calves, the quads, the hamstrings, a little bit on our glutes as well. We always see Miley Cyrus in those tiny little shorts and today you're going to be able to wear these tiny little shorts too if you keep doing this workout. We're going to do loads of exercises. We're going to do them 50 times each. Seems like a lot, but I'm going to be helping you count them down. And the more you count down, the better your legs are going to look. So we're going to start with 50 alternating lunges. Okay, it might seem a lot, but we're not going to be doing any cardio in this workout video. So just keep breathing. We're going to be also burning calories too, but the main point of this workout is to be toning up those legs. Now, when you do a lunge, I want you to make it nice and big. We're going to make sure that that knee doesn't go over the toe. Okay, now you're going to count down with me. We've probably done about, I don't know, about 15, 20 so far. I've got my handed trusty counter by my side that's helping me and you along the way. So if they muck up, I muck up, which means you muck up. Whew. Okay, keep it going. That's it, we've got 50 of these. We're gonna take it into some squats. We've got some other leg raises too, some calf raises, all super exciting stuff. Whew. You should be able to feel the burn already. Now, you can do 25 lunges on each leg and 25 on the other, but today, we're just going to keep alternating, keep it exciting. Okay, great start everybody. You should be able to feel the burn in your legs. That's it, keep watching that knee, doesn't go over the toe, 10 to go. Oh, it was good to see that 10, because my legs are burning. Great job, five, four, three, two, and give me one more. 
Okay, give those legs a little bit of a shake. Now, we're going to go into plie squat. So, we're going to have our legs slightly wider and our toes pointing out to the side, about 45 degrees. And we've just got 50, going down. Again, make sure that when you go down, your knees are not going over your toes. And as you do a squat, you want to think about sitting down in a chair. Now, the great way to get a good booty is squats, but we're also working our quads, okay? It's front muscle in our legs. Okay, keep it going, everybody. I want you working all the way through to the end of this workout. I want to see the dedication. Great job. And breathing. That's it, really try and put that booty out to the back. Squat nice and low. The deeper the squat, the more it's going to benefit those glutes. Keep it going. I reckon you're over halfway. Whew. So that feels good. Just knowing that you're over halfway. And this is a great exercise that you can do while you're watching the TV or brushing your teeth. I always do squats while I'm brushing my teeth. Whew, see, just like this, nice and easy. That's it. Keep it going. Try and get those knees to go out to the side. We always want to make sure that our knees don't lock in. Okay, the next thing on our agenda, we're going to go back into lunges. We're going to take it out to the side. Ten to go. That's it. Keep going. Keep squeezing those glutes as you get to the top. Okay, five, four, three. Come on, give me two more. Make this last one count. Squeeze as you get to the top. Okay, again, give those legs a little bit of a wiggle. And we're going to take it out to the side. You should be really feeling them going a little bit like jelly now. So, we've got 50, just going out to the side. So just a slight lunge. Okay, how are your legs feeling, everybody? They should be burning. Remember, if you don't feel the burn, then you're not working hard enough. That's it, and breathe. Now, if you do need to at any time, press pause and go and get some water. We want to keep trying to make our body move in through this whole workout video. Because that's how we're going to really benefit getting toned up and using our muscles to the max. You're doing awesome, but no one's given up just yet. Remember, Miley Cyrus doesn't just get legs from doing nothing. She's always working out. I've read her blogs and her Twitter. She works out, she does loads of yoga, loads of squats, and loads of lunges. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. And you're already a third of the way there. That's it. Come on, keep it going. Feel the burn in those legs. Here we are, we're working out our quads and our hamstrings. That's it, keep smiling. Now we should be doing really well. We're definitely over halfway on these lunges. In fact, we've got 10 to go. Count with me, the last four. Eight. Six. All the way, come on, four. Two more. Last one. And release. Whew. Okay, we're going to keep up standing. My legs are feeling a little bit like this. How are yours feeling? And I just want you to lift up to the side. I'm going to do 25 out to one side and 25 to the other. Okay, so you really are using your quads here. And if you squeeze your glute at the same time, you're going to be getting an extra, an extra added butt workout in. Whew. You can start to really feel it in your calves. They should be tightening up too. It's a good job, we've only got 25 on each leg. Because you can really start to feel that burn. Because all the impact is just on one leg. I promise you, you're almost there. Not before, we have to turn onto the other leg. Okay, five, four, come on, squeeze. Three, two, and one leg. Straight onto the other side, no rest. 
Now, because we're also just on one leg, we are using the balance as well. So think about engaging your core. We're gonna focus on one point. I'm focusing on you guys at home. That's gonna help me keep my balance. Now, if you guys at home focus on me and I focus on you, we're both gonna be standing up tall and working out those legs. Whew. Okay, keep it going. You should be sweating, you should be burning. Whew. 10. Whew. That's it, squeeze those glutes as you get to the top of the pull. Keep going, five, four, three, two, and your last one, Ooh, and release. Okay, I'm just gonna give you a quick stretch in between. I just want you to bring one leg in front of the other and just pull up. You can either just lean over or you can also grab your toe. Just gonna hold it here for a few seconds. So it's good if you are feeling super tight, just to stretch out. Let's go on to the other one. And now, Guess what's coming? We've got 50 more squats. But we're gonna do it with our legs facing forward, okay? So, we've got 50. Remember last time, we put them out to the side, so we're using different muscles. Here we're gonna be using the inside, and our quads here. Now this one is particularly good for your booty. Good for the legs as well. But remember, if we are gonna be wearing tiny little shorts, we wanna keep that butt nice and toned. Okay, really just think about sitting back in that chair. If you've got a chair at home, that can sometimes help you just by going down and almost touching it and then coming back up again. Whew. This exercise you can do whenever. You could be waiting for a bus, you could be on a bus. Whew. That's it, feel the burn in those legs, guys. And when you come to the top, give me a little squeeze in those glutes going to really engage those muscles in working. Okay, you should be feeling tight, your legs should be burning, but it means it's working. Okay, so keep it going. We want to work all the way to the end of this exercise video, okay? We don't want any of you quitting just yet. Just give me five more minutes of your time. That's nothing. That's it, guys. Keep it going. Really squeeze those glutes as you get to the top. Ooh, I'm feeling hot, my legs are burning, but I want to know how you guys at home are getting on too. So if you've got any questions about anything that I do or exercises, then make sure you tweet me at the Model Pilot or Facebook, Rebecca Louise Fitness. Easy as that. Or you can leave a comment on the end here, but I'm going to get it better on the social media. Keep it going. Ready? Five, four, three, Come on, give me two more and make sure you're making it count. Last one. Whew. Okay. We got those legs, we're gonna get on to working those calf muscles, okay? This muscle right here, so when we're wearing heels, it looks super sexy if we've got some nice calves. Guys too, if you're out in a pair of shorts, you're gonna look super great and awesome too. Okay, so we're gonna start, we're gonna put all the weight on our right leg, and we're just gonna go up and down for 25, okay? And then we're gonna change it onto the other leg. Now again, like we did with the other exercise, you gotta focus, okay? So I'm gonna be focusing on you, and you guys at home are gonna be focusing on me so that we're keeping our balance. Okay, and this is also really good for your core as well, because obviously we are working on one leg, so make sure you are engaging those abs. We've just got 10 more. That's it, really squeeze those glutes and those abs, engage them, five, four, three, two, last one, okay? Quick wiggle and then onto the other leg, okay? So again, focusing on me. Now you're gonna find that one leg is better than the other, okay? And you can obviously tell that the other leg is better for me, but that's normal, okay? So you just have to work extra hard on that leg that makes you a little bit more uneven. Okay, so I am really am pulling in those abs there, engaging them, and concentrating on you guys. You guys are concentrating on me. 10. That's it, come on, squeeze. Whoa, nearly lost my balance then. Keep it going. That's it, we really are tightening up those calves. Three, two, one. Whew. Okay, now again, I'm just gonna give you a quick stretch out on those calves, because if you're anything like me, you know, my calves do tend to cramp up really easily. Best way to avoid that, eat lots of bananas and drink lots of water. Whew. Okay, so we're gonna take it down to the ground, and we're gonna bring the leg out to the side, okay? So we've got 25 of these, and then 25 on the other leg. Again, we're gonna be working our glutes as well here, 
and our quadriceps, so it's that front muscle on our leg, the big one, and getting them nice and tight, tight and toned, just like Miley Cyrus. Whew. That's it, keep it going. Now remember, if you are a big fan of Miley Cyrus, we do also have on exit a Miley Cyrus ab workout, because you've got a very flat tummy as well as super lean legs. So if you want to check that out, make sure you subscribe to the channel, because exit has got plenty more Miley Cyrus ab workouts. That's it, guys, keep it going. Are you ready to swap onto the other side? In five, four, three, and two more. Okay, last one. Now, other side. We're gonna bring it up, out to the side again for 25, okay? Make sure that those hands are underneath those shoulders, so just adjust them if you need to. And just think about bringing that knee out to the side, bringing it up sort of in line with your waist. Some people call these fire hydrants. So, if you more understand that name, then go with that. But just think about bringing those knees up to the waist. Okay, and pull that tummy in as well. Get a good ab work in and squeeze in those glutes. Okay, you've only got like two exercises left after this. And you've been working so hard. This is a long workout. But no pain, no gain, okay? We've got to make sure we're going to work all the way to the end. Because this workout is designed to work all the muscles. So you need to finish it. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna stay on the ground for the last two exercises. So, I just want you to bring your knee in and bring it out, okay? So you've got 25 of these. Now, this is really great. You're gonna be working your abs. You're gonna be working your glutes. And of course, the main thing we're working today, those legs. That's it. Oh, you haven't got long to go, guys, but you need to finish the workout. I don't want anyone quitting on me now. You gotta keep going all the way to the end. Whew. You should really start to feel it in those legs. Now, after we've done these 25s, we're gonna pulse it to the ceiling, okay? So you're gonna really feel that burn. Now, if you need to, just relax your foot a little bit. Sometimes I get cramp in mine. So just relax that foot and keep it going. Seven, six, five, go and count them with me for the last few. Three, two, and your last one. One, now hold it here, we're gonna pulse for 25. Three, four, five. Now you should really be feeling in those glutes as well. You should be really feeling the burn now. I'm feeling it now, guys. If you're not feeling it, you've gotta work harder. Come on, push all the way to the end. Three, two, one. Okay, last time. Back on the other side. Now you can't just do one leg. You've got to make sure if you've done that first leg, you've got to do it on the other side. Otherwise you're going to turn out lopsided. Whew, and we don't want that. Now, can you feel the burn in your butt? Whew, keep it going, guys. I promise you, you're almost at the end of the workout. Just think, do this workout every day. You're gonna get those Miley Cyrus legs. You're gonna be able to wear those tiny little shorts. Whew. And look long and lean. Great job, everyone. I think you're doing fantastic. But you've gotta keep going all the way to the end. Remember, we've got those pulses. Just 25 short little pulses. In five, four, three, two, and the last one. Okay, now hold it here. We're gonna pulse for 25. And again, you should be feeling the burn in your left bottom cheek, okay? So that's it, go on, keep pulsing up to the ceiling. You're almost done. Come on, three, two, one, and release. Whew. Okay, well we really did work our legs out there. So I'm just gonna give you a few exercises on how to stretch. I just want you to put one leg in front of the other. We're just gonna come down. And this is really gonna stretch your glutes out here. You did really burn those glutes at the end. And then take it onto the other side. And I did show you those other calf stretches as well before. So if you wanna add those in too, and any other cool down that you need to do, make sure you give your body that rest. 
and it also is going to help prevent injury. Whew, well, there you have it, Miley Cyrus's legs. Make sure you check out the rest of X Hits videos. We've got so much in store for you to come and the stuff that we've already got here for you. So if you want to know any more information about us, then you can press this link here. It's going to send you the newsletter of all the fun and exciting stuff that X Hits has got for you. My name's Rebecca Louise. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at The Model Pilot or Facebook, Rebecca Louise Fitness. Thanks for watching today and make sure you stay fit. Hey there, X Hitters. Welcome to X Hit. Guess what we're doing today? We, you and me, are doing a thigh workout. I don't know if you saw that, but I just totally tried to show you my thigh. So legs it is, and I hope you stay along with me and make sure you maximize your time here and challenge your body. All right, so because we're doing thighs, which means our legs, correct? We're gonna start with plie squats, which means toes out, knees open, hips down, there you go. So no duck butts, you don't have to stick your butt way out, but your butt is gonna go back out behind you just a bit. And everything we're doing today is gonna be about 30 seconds, okay? Keep those knees out. And again, you can put your hands wherever you want. If you really wanna be a ballerina, be a ballerina. If you wanna be superwoman, be superwoman. If you want to be a cheerleader, you know, you do your thing. <laughs> Keep going. Engage that core in the front. So squeeze the abs. You got this. All right, so next up we have a side lunge. I just want you to come out to the side, sit it down, okay? So we're gonna do one leg and then we'll switch for 30 seconds. Here we go. So really bend that right leg. Now focus on not letting this knee go too far over your ankle, okay? So you should sit back into it, your weight should go into the heels, and your knee should not go over your toe especially. Good work. Remember, 30 seconds each side. Now this other leg, the standing leg, nice soft knee, so it's not locked out, and it's not really doing a lot of mobility either. Okay, bring it over here, switch it up, this side, Good job, keep going, sit into it. Remember, do the whole time on each side because we don't want to be unsymmetrical or strengthen one side more than the other. You know. And you also want to train with us as much as possible because we don't want you to be one of those people in the gym who's like really big up here and then has super scrawny legs, you know what I mean? Whew. All right, one more. All that good. Okay, well those were some pretty good lunges you did there. I'm glad you kept up. Now we're gonna go into a squat. Kick it out, okay? So no karate kid, we're just kicking it out. You got this, 30 seconds each leg. We're gonna go close to a minute here, okay? Good work. And again, we're not being karate kid. We're not like all the way up. Just activate the side of the inductors. You got it. Keep going. Keep your hands somewhere neutral so it's not inhibiting your range of motion with your legs. If you have weights, you could keep them here. That shouldn't interfere too much. You got this. Release it into it. Engage the core. Keep the shoulders back. Keep it up with those baby kicks. I was doing baby kicks on another workout. Someone was like, Chuck Norris does not approve of your roundhouse kicks. And I was like, I totally know. So, intentional with the small ones. Okay, no more kicks or anything like that. We're just gonna move right into skater hops. Okay, so jump in. You can pick up the speed, pick up the distance from side to side. All right, there you go. So the lower you get, the more you're maximizing this movement. If you just stay up here and kind of skip back and forth, you're not really gonna feel it as much. Reach forward with those hands. And after this, we're gonna get on the floor. You gotta keep going, get that heart rate up. Good job, call it good. All right, moving on to the ground. We have leg lifts to the inside. So it's gonna look like this. Just pull it up, shortening, contracting, right through here. 
Point the toe. Number 30 seconds each side. You're gonna have a soft bend in your knee. Ergonomically, that's just what your body's probably gonna wanna do naturally. Keep pulling it up. Skater hop's got my heart rate up. Good job. Pull it up, you got it. Don't let it hit the ground. Last one. Woo. All right, go ahead and switch. And of course, modification if you need to. Your foot can hit the ground, no big deal. All right, you're doing this, good job. Point the toe, number soft knee, not bent, not locked out. Whew. Should be feeling this, the little isometric movements, they're awesome. This is stuff that you guys can do without any equipment, things you can do regularly. Really no excuse, huh? You just gotta be intentional. Almost done with these. Good work, keep going. Last one, okay. So we're gonna stay in this position just where we were. However, we're gonna utilize our top leg and our standing leg will be the one on the bottom. This is gonna look like this. Bring it up and circle back. Got that? Little circles, like a paintbrush, like we do with our arms and our shoulders sometimes. You got this, 30 seconds. Only 30 seconds of your day. You can do it. Point the toe. It's all you X hitters out there. You gotta leave more comments. We wanna hear how you're doing, how you're feeling, if your energy's up, if you're feeling good, getting functional, stronger. Whew. All right, go ahead and switch it over, other side. And we do love hearing from you, so keep it up. To the back, you got it. Again, soft knee, it's not locked out. Good job, giving you the thumbs up. Remember, baby circles, nothing crazy. Whew. And if you guys are feeling stiff after this or even before and you went ahead anyways, have a really good stretching workout that you guys can do or stretching episode rather, not really workout. So why don't you look for that, do some stretching with me and that would be real good. Move some of that lactic acid out. Okay, well, we went one direction with those leg circles and that means we should probably go the other way too. All right, so this time to the front. Point the toe, open up that hip just a little bit, okay? To the front, baby circles. Nice job. And of course, you've heard me say it before, but these things that look kind of funny, they actually work if you do them. So do them. Good job, point that toe. We always want some flexion in the calf if we're elongating the leg. Whew. Working over here, hopefully it's working over there. All right, go ahead and switch it over. Other side. Here we go, to the front. Good job, thumbs up again. Keep going. And of course, take little breaks whenever you need to in any of our workouts. Just grab your water, press pause, take a breather, walk the dog, who knows? Keep going. You wake over there? Keep it up, come on, bring it up. Keep that tension, you got it. Good work, keep going. And call it good, all right. So this next one, we can do a couple different variations. Let me show you real fast. So let's hop up into a plank, okay, side plank. I'm gonna bring it up, okay? Your modification will be on the floor. Fold that bottom leg, your standing leg. Bring it up like this, okay? Here we go for 30 seconds, let's pop it up. And go. Jump in if you have it. My standing leg is already burning. I trained my legs yesterday at the gym real hard, and so today I'm like, well, we will see how much we get done. 30 seconds. Maybe at the 10 second mark, I'll bring it down. Okay, modify for me. There you go. Do whatever is best for you. Symmetrical though, okay? Both sides need to be the same. All right, call it good. Switch it over. Other side. Pop it up for the first half, okay. Here we go. Not a big range of motion, itch on my nose. <laughs> you got it. And of course, same thing on this side. When we get to about the 10 mark, we're gonna bring it down to modify. Keep 
going. Should be warming up over yonder. All right, bring it down, modify, here we go. Good job, thumbs up from me. Good work, all right, call it good. Okay, next up, we've done these before. Fire hydrants, face this way. Okay, so you're just gonna bring it out, and that's it, bring it down, okay? So we're not gonna let this knee, the working leg, touch the ground. It's gonna stay off the ground the whole time. Okay, here we go. Bring it out through the knee. Good work. And of course, this one, if someone's not hydrated enough, you can cramp pretty easily here, okay? Large muscle groups. Just make sure you're drinking all your water. Have some with you when you work out. About that 10 second mark. Oh my gosh, that standing leg again is burning. Hopefully yours is too. Should be a little bit, okay? and switch it over, other side. Here we go. Just pull it on out. Perfect. Feel that, guys? <laughs> Leave a comment. Let us know if it was working for you. Keep going. Don't have to do a whole bunch of heavy weight or jump around a whole lot to get your sweat going, so hopefully you guys are happy with this short, effective routine we're doing. We'll work a few more of these and then we're moving on. Woo, all right. Sit it up, take a little rest. Okay, this next one, pretty much the same position, but we're gonna kick it out to the side. So it's gonna look like this, bam. Okay, jump on in, here we go. Let's go ahead and point that toe, guys, too. You got it. Just bring that leg out. Still gonna be hanging down at an angle as you pull it out, but that's good. Extend that leg. Now don't throw your knee, don't, don't lock your leg out necessarily. Good job. Well, I'm working up a sweat. <laughs> Hope you are too. Few more. All right, call it good and switch it over. Other side, here we go. Remember, you always exhale when you exert the most energy, right? You're probably sick of me saying that every time we work out, but some people forget. And sometimes it's hard for me even because I'm talking the whole time. Standing leg is burning. Whew. Getting it done. Good job. Stay focused. Don't stop now. Especially if you got through the whole other leg. Bam, call it good. Oh my goodness. Well, I think my legs are burning and we didn't even do a whole bunch of jumping around. You didn't have to use giant machines. Nice work. All right, well, I'm gonna say good job on today's workout. You are done, go stretch. Look at our other videos if you still wanna work out. Subscribe here on Exit and follow me on Twitter at KelseyLee.com.